Welcome back to Bourbon Country Reacts. What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? I'm repping a brand I dig. I mean, Peerless is good, but I mean, are you bought and paid for? Man, they haven't sent me a bottle of shit. No, that's true. <laughs> that's true. That's... We need to go down there. Yeah, we, we do. The problem is, so Peerless is awesome stuff. Yeah. But not cheap. No. And I could bankrupt myself at that distillery yes. in a heartbeat. Ye well, you'd have a hard time bankrupting yourself, but you could probably figure it out. Because every one of their bottles is about 90 bucks. And I just want this one. But they're that all barrel proof. One, that one and this one. So that's part of it, right? <laughs> yeah. They're all barrel proof. Yeah. And speaking of bourbon, I'm the bourbon guy. I'm Dustin. What's up? I'm Keith. Also, Did they like, know this shit, though? Well, he's he's rocking the, the Groku there. Baby Yoda. And, and some Lux Row. Well, that's my favorite distillery. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know. I kind of like this one, too. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm starting... Yeah. Now, Lux Row's no slouch, man. True. I've not had a bourbon from them that I did not like. And their prices are significantly lower than Peerless. But Could you imagine, though, if Peerless did a series kind of like Blood Oath? Mm. We should talk to them about that. We should talk to them about that. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Okay. What we got here? We got, a, we got a bribe, don't we? We got a bribe. They sent us a handle. I think the shipping probably costs more than this whole thing. That's <laughs> my guess. I'll... Wait. Yeah, it's... <laughs> That's plastic. I got a musical instrument. Should I go grab an acoustic? <laughs> do it. <laughs> Oh, just pick the one. Fuck it. I'll go get an acoustic. Oh my god. Wow. So this is happening. We got Colonel Lee Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. It's right at 80 proof. Uh, it's out of Louisville. Um, that's literally all that's on the bottle. Like, there's nothing else because it's a handle. Well, it's a handle. You may lay down a mad beat for you. Wait. Well, that's a nice grandpa's guitar. Oh, this is an Dude, awesome. That's beautiful. Dude, this thing hadn't been played in a year, so. Alright, lay down that mad beat. Hopefully all got entertained by that. So we'll see you next time. They were not entertained by this that. I promise you. This was a bribe. <laughs> they, they're getting for more than they bribed us for. Freaking guitar wasn't even in tune. Dude. It wasn't. You got it there, though. <laughs> Ish. So, uh, yeah. I'll go ahead and pour this. What song came in with this one? We have a request for a song I've actually heard. Okay, it's a bribe. I don't... What is it? Yeah, it's a bribe, so we're going to do it. Yes, this is like a bribe. I feel like a bartender. What? So, it's an artist we've had before, and you have appreciated. Yeah. We got us some Chris Stapleton Ooh, here. Oh, yeah. And old school Chris Stapleton with steel drivers. Oh, yeah? We haven't done them since, since like, the beginning like of the, the channel. First like three. First three videos yeah. with Kyle. And that one blew us away. Yeah. We were like, what is this amazing music? So, if you thought that shit was good, you, you know what? I, I'm not going to say any more about the song. I don't really want to um, color, my color opinion. Your, your opinion. All right, it's going to suck. I guarantee it. But I am going to say this. Yeah. If there is a vibe of Keith. No, we've already been down this road. This is it. This, this is, is my... Is it Mr. Perfect again? What's the name of the song? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Per... Or, or uh, what was that? Um, it, Lord, It's Hard to Be Humble was yes. about me. Okay. That's an external view of me. This is me. This, this is my vibe. This is... And we're going to play it because this song is fucking incredible. Dude, pause. This is the same venue. Yeah. Of the first three. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We in for some shit. Here. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm down. Go 
back it up. I am. He said hollow. Yeah. Not holler. So holler and hollow can vary between Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Kentucky, Tennessee. So in some, so up and down the Appalachian chain, you'll hear some will call it a hollow, some will call it a holler. I've never heard it called a holler. Uh, Back it up. But because your only exposure to it's been through me through West Virginia. Right? Oh, I heard holler before you. Oh, okay. I got roots in Kentucky, man. All right. They got hollers in Kentucky. Yes. Some peace before I no, lose my I'm mind. going back to the world of shadow. Got to find some peace for I'll, the blue side of the mountain mm -hmm. is the north when you've got a peak and it's got a north side. The sun literally never shines there. And what you get is all those briars and weeds and undergrowth Don't, aren't there. Right, because there's no sun. But big ass fucking oak trees and shit. Right. And so you've just got a coating of leaves and the sun never shines there, man. And I'm telling you, those places, just they're peace. different.
opinion, if that song don't hit you, you ain't human. Well, that ain't fair. It hits us. There's going to be a lot of people that don't get that. Because they've never seen it. Right? Now, not They're, saying that... Sh- that's a valid point. Not saying they... They should but see it. But if Stapleton's voice didn't hit you in that song... That's a fair point. You ain't him. Yeah, but the message of it, like... Yeah, so... If, uh... So this was... Well, it, it doesn't, because you got people in Kentucky, and I know you've been to West Virginia. Um, <laughs> can confirm. <laughs> uh, I don't... I only go to West Virginia and move shit, though. Well, and ski. But... And work on houses. And work on houses, yeah. Um... So, some of my closest friends yeah. really are not able to reset except to throw a rifle and a pack on their shoulder and held out or head out into the woods and find a place like that. And just... And just be. Yeah. And just watch nature. Yeah. Yeah. That's powerful, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, so... I feel like in a place like that, you, you you remember what's really important. So it's not all the dumb shit on here, right? <laughs> like it's damn, just damn. I think for me, yeah, and, and I've had this happen hunting. I think a lot of hunters, for them, you know, okay, yeah, you shoot you shoot a deer, you put some meat on the table, etc. You know, yeah, freezer. that's a side effect. Yeah. The real value is... Just being there. Being out there, being being isolated, no phone, no, no TV, no YouTube. You and nature. And you're just sitting there seeing it and hearing it all. Yeah. And when you're... Feeling it. When you you're on... You feel it. You feel it. It's true. When you're on Chris, what what Chris calls the blue side of the mountain, um, which actually is uh, a great place to hunt because of the long sight sight lines. Right, not uh, all the underbrush. When when you're when you're in, on the blue side of the mountain, I mean, I've watched deer walk by, like good deer. Yeah, you know, bucks with nice racks, huge does. Up. I've watched them walk because... Isn't it weird that bucks have nice racks? <laughs> I didn't want to disturb the silence with the shot. Right. You were... And I don't That's know... That's you're more than a hunter. I don't know if... I mean, I've got... I've, a lot of my good friends are, are hunters, and I don't know if they've ever done that, but I damn sure have. Mm-hmm. I've just been like... Tell us in the comments. Yeah, tell us. Yeah. Yeah. For know. real. We want to hear your story about it. Yeah, so, I mean, obviously we're Stapleton fans. <laughs> Clearly. And this song hits me where I live. Yeah, it's in, it's, it hits you right. Well, is there anything there? I'm joking. There's definitely something there. <laughs> There's definitely something there. We know better. So let me ask you a question. If a blonde tasted you, would you have ever guessed that this came from a handle in a plastic bottle? Fuck no. Guaranteed no. <laughs> Me either, dude. dude. What the hell? No. It's too good. This viewer had, they've sent us several bottles. And they have a damn superpower. Clearly. Clearly. I looked up the price. I, I, uh, all this right. is a handle. I, like I said, the shipping may have cost more than... Actually, no. The bottle cost more than the shipping. Right. This is a handle in a plastic bottle. Mm-hmm. This probably sits right next to the dark eyes. <laughs> Am I wrong? No, you're not. Right? You're not wrong. Right? This is next to a giant plastic bottle of Seagram 7. Yes. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> or 
what, like Shvetka? Papa Vodka. Yeah, yes. <laughs> right. But, um, this is terrible. You guys don't want any of it, trust me. You don't want it. Just leave it on the shelf for me to get. Because <laughs> it's really good. Dude, I get a caramel bomb out of this one. There's something, so it is absolutely a caramel bomb. I'm getting, this is, this is actually a little more complex, I think, than normal from mm -hmm. the stuff that this viewer has sent us. Right. So, um, I'm getting a little butter up front. Like a sweet butter. Yes. Yeah. Like almost like a, like a cinnamon, like a honey butter. Yes. Holy shit. Oh my shit. God, this is a honey bun in a glass. Oh, damn. I seen it all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dude, that was a great... That's I, I got nothing else. Honey bun. This is a honey bun in a glass. If you like honey buns, Colonel Lee... I'll put straight it. bourbon whiskey. 80 proof. Now tell me what this plastic candle, candle cost. Just gonna double check. Double check my math real quick. I got it right here. Yeah, twenty two ninety nine for a handle. For a handle. All day long. Which, if you think about it, then that means a seven fifty. Yeah, it's probably gonna be about fifteen bucks. No, about ten bucks. Yeah, <laughs> maybe eleven. <laughs> Damn. Damn. I don't know what to say, man. That's a good daily. Especially this, if, if you like a honey bun. This punch is so far above its weight class, it's ridiculous. But, dude, it is straight up a honey bun. It's a honey bun. It's got the cinnamon. All of it. It's got the icing. It's got everything. This is a honey bun in a glass. Andrea, My God, I love me some honey buns. Andrew... Andrea, you know, <laughs> you know what she found? What? She found a, an eclair honey bun. That sounds either horrific or so goddamn good, I'm going to give myself the Beatus. You would die <laughs> from Beatus. <laughs> guaranteed. I was like, what the hell? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I can't, I got nothing bad to say about this. Take a big drink. No. Do it. Notice how much the oak comes out. Through the entire drink. Right. Dude, that's bizarre. That wasn't there before. <laughs> no. It's very oaky. It's super oaky, and it probably, it, based on that color, it's a year at best Dude. aged. All right, so if you're 21 years old. <laughs> <laughs> and like honey buns. And like honey buns. Yeah. <laughs> if you're 44 years old and like honey buns. No, seriously. Like, I wish I found this when I was 21 or 18 or 16. I'm glad I didn't. Right? Because <laughs> the bubbles. Because <laughs> you could. Yeah. It's actually it's quite it's, good. So what proof is it? It's low, right? Only 21 and above. Uh, 80. Okay. So it's, it's as smooth as you would expect for an 80 proof whiskey. I think so. So what I mean by my is actually I think it's smoother than eighty proof. I don't think so. Um, I'm, that I, big drink. I'm still getting a little burn off that. There's it dries the back of your throat a little bit, mm -hmm. but not like Jack Daniels does. So I would buy this. All day long and twice on Sunday before I ever picked up a bottle of Jack Daniels Black. Correct. Yes. Now, Jack Daniels Singer, Single Barrels Single barrel. are a completely different creature, but... Yes. But, yeah. Oh, yeah. And so, you know what? This this whips the shit out of exactly all the mass distillers. Jack, Jim. It beats Jack. It beats Jim Beam. It beats... Uh, Dickel? 
Oh, yeah. It kills Dickel. Dude. It smashes wild turkey. Yeah. Yes. I would take well, this. Okay, hold on. So let's talk about wild turkey a little bit. Well, that's, we're talking about their mainline shit. I know. Yes, I know. That, that's why I'm going to. Uh, we don't like wild turkey. Y'all probably know that. There are a few things that we've had from them that we do enjoy. But generally, we don't like wild turkey. The wild turkey is a is a exact opposite of this. Diametrically opposed to that. Correct. Yes. So th- we don't like wild turkey, but we cannot deny the fact that it is like globally the best selling bourbon on planet Earth. Right. Wild turkey one hundred and one. Who ain't heard of that? So a bunch of y'all in Europe have really bad taste in bourbon. All right. Well, uh, unless so, you're Ukrainian, in which case you're my fucking spirit animal. Badass. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Give me some more of that. So, y'all, this was an awesome tune and a killer bourbon. I'm shocked. Yeah, this is the, this is the ghost of Kentucky right here. No, no kidding, man. See what I did? Ghost. <laughs> just, just shot down like six bourbons. This bottle has six Russian kills. Oh, shit. All right. They had too much vodka. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video. You've got to see playing some instruments, a couple idiots doing idiot things, awesome music, great bourbon. Now we have impersonations. Back to idiots. Right. All right. So if you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. Drop down in the comments and tell us what songs we need to listen to. Tell us what bourbons we need to drink. Yeah. And uh, look, we, we've we been on a little bit of a run here on bribes because, well, y'all been sending us bribes. Thank and you. they go to the front. Yep. But your votes do matter. They do. I still uh, keep count. He still, he Dustin keeps count. It's a meticulous count. It, so glad it's him, not me doing it. It'd drive you nuts. Yeah. Uh, You'd probably quit. I'd, I'd want to set the whole channel on You'd fire like, at that point. Fuck it. Um, but if you pay attention, like we've actually had songs recently that were not bribes. They were the votes uh-huh. and, and that matters. And uh, actually, sometimes we, we kind of get a twofer in that you guys send us a bribe for a song that's also highly requested. True. So, you know, it kind of knocks that out. But hey, thanks for watching, guys. See you. Till next time.